On this video I will explain how to make a peg turn smoothly. Sometimes you will run into the problem that you're tuning your instrument and your peg sounds like this. The problem with that is that your peg, the issue being that your peg doesn't turn smoothly and it moves in sudden increments. And it's hard. It's hard to make it turn. It's not supposed to be this difficult. So when he makes that sound, or when it doesn't turn at all, then it's time to do something about it. Every time a peg does this clicking noise, if it does it every time you turn it, then yeah, it's time to put a solution to that. And the way you fix that is by applying something that we call peg compound. I will leave a link on the description for you to be able to find it. Most of the time I see it going for maybe about $7, $8. This is your usual peg compound. It looks a lot like lipstick. The dispenser works just like lipstick. But what this is, is some kind of very solid grease that lubricates the surface of the peg and allows it to turn smoothly. So it's very simple. And before you do this, make sure you watch the video about how to change a string because we're gonna do pretty much the same procedure except that we are not necessarily replacing this string. This string is perfectly fine. So, but we are gonna loosen it and remove the string from the peg. We're going to take the peg out. So make sure you watch the video so you can do it safely. So let's set this aside. I'm gonna remove this peg. I'm simply gonna turn and pull instead of pushing because I want the peg to come loose on purpose. There we go, so now that came loose. I'm gonna remove the string. We don't need to remove it completely, I can just leave it there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the peg out. Let's put the viola aside for a little bit. Now you only need to apply a little bit. If you apply too much, it'll become too slippery and it won't stay in tune for a very long time. I apply it on the surface of the peg that makes contact, that makes contact with the peg hole. So, as you can see, I just put two streaks of it on each side of the peg, on each side that makes contact with the peg box. If you look at this side of the peg, it looks a little shinier than the rest of the peg. That's because of the friction created by being in the peg box. But you also want to apply it very close to the edge right here, which is the other side that makes contact with the peg box. So once you apply a minimal quantity of this, then you put it back in the peg box, put the string back, tune it, and you're good to go. This will last quite a while. Most of the time I find that I don't really need to keep applying this unless the peg continues to have the same problem. So let's put this back on the viola. Okay, so here's our viola. Then I simply assemble the peg. Then I fetch my string. Now the strings will coil up like this. That's not a problem. Just try to straighten it a little bit. Okay, so let's push this in a little bit. There we go. Now let's push it a little further. There we go. That should do it. Okay. Now remember when you are replacing a string that you start winding it first on the opposite side from the peg. So I'm gonna start turning. I'm gonna wait for this little tip to pass the string that I'm winding. And then I'm gonna turn to the other side and allow it to wind now on the side where the peg is. Now remember that this is important to make sure that your string stays secure. I'm gonna keep turning it. Now as soon as I'm able to have some tension on the string, I'm gonna let go and then I'm gonna check before putting any more tension, I'm gonna check that the string is really on the notch where it belongs. And now I can just follow the steps for tuning. This is the D string, so you can either do that with an app. 
as I described on the video, on the tag on your screen. Be careful to grasp the scroll firmly and grasp the peg firmly and only turn it in small increments. Make sure to keep playing as you tune so that you can hear how much it changes and of course so that your tuning device keeps hearing and measuring the vibrations of your string as you turn them. Now since I'm used to tuning by ear, I'm just going to tune it by ear. But now, see how smoothly this turns? It doesn't make any noise and now it, it turns at whatever increments I want it to turn. It doesn't jump suddenly anymore. So every once in a while you might want to do this. Um, when you replace an old string for a new one or a broken string for a new one, it's a good idea to check if you need any. If you do, when you replace a string, it's a really good time to do it. Almost there. Okay, the G string went out of tune. Okay, so you can keep on fine tuning it if you like. And that's how you make your pegs turn smoothly. Now I did this on a viola, but you can do this for violin or cello as well. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notified each time that I publish a new video. Once again, this is Eka Rivera at the Strings Learning Channel. See you on my next video.